Hi, welcome to the video. In this video, I will show you the detailed walkthrough of our extension Zero Bidirectional Integration for Zogo CRM. From this, you can clearly understand what is Zogo Zero Integration and how it works. Okay, let's start the video. First, you need to install the extension from the marketplace. For that, sign in to your Zogo account. Here, navigate to settings and click on all in the marketplace section. Here search for zero bidirectional integration for Zogo CRM. And click on it. Now click on install. Tick the checkboxes to accept the terms and service policy. And click on install. Now tick the checkbox to accept the terms of service and click on continue to install. Here you can choose any user profiles, admins only, all users or any particular profile. The extension can be used by all the users of your Zogo CRM, but it is only based on the permission allowed for them. I have chosen admins only and click on confirm. Now the extension is preparing to install. And the installation is completed successfully. Once extension is installed, move to your Zogo CRM and click on these three dots. From this menu, choose zero. Now click on connect button corresponding to zero. Here click on allow access. You should have a zero account with an organization. Otherwise you are not able to access the extension or zero. The extension is successfully configured with my Zero account. This section gets disabled automatically once you connect with Zero. Now click on the Authorize button on the corresponding Zogo section. Select the Accept button to allow the extension to access data in your Zogo CRM. Then click on Next. We have configured the Zogo and Zero account with the extension. You will see a pop-up window like this that shows all the terms and conditions to use the module in your Zogo account. Read the terms and conditions carefully and select the accept button to give permission to the add-on to access your Zogo account. The configuration is completed and now it is ready to work. The Zero extension for Zogo CRM module lets you sync records bidirectionally by the following four sync methods on save sync, send to zero sync, historical sync, and cron sync. On save record sync. This will sync records at the time when you click on the save button. This sync option is only performed from Zogo to Zero. Next is the send to zero sync. It is a one-way method that actually syncs existing Zogo CRM records info to zero. The historical sync option is performed on both sides and lets you sync data created between a specific period. The cron sync happens every 10 minutes and it is only provided for syncing records from zero to Zogo CRM. We can see them one by one in this video. Before that, let's see the flow of synchronization. The accounts of Zogo will be synced as a customers in zero. The products of Zogo is synced as the items in Zero. The invoice of Zogo is synced as invoice in Zero and the Zero accounts in Zogo will be synced as the accounts in Zero. And this synchronization flow is bidirectional. This extension supports record sync of modules like accounts, products, invoices and Zero accounts. Before you perform syncing records between Zogo CRM and Zero, you have to map these for proper record sync. Move to the mapping section and map the zero fields with Zogo fields. 
You can map the module fields you want to sync. The fields are automatically mapped, so you don't need to do much. If you want to edit the mapped fields, click on this and drag the field from the right widget and drop it inside the appropriate field. Once you have mapped, click save mapping. Let's see now how to sync records from Yogo CRM to Zero. The first method of sync is on say sync. To enable this, move to the settings page. Select the Zogo Sync Configure tab. Enable the On Save Sync option. Select any one module here. I am selecting the Accounts module to sync records of the Accounts module to the Zero Customers module. And visit the Zero Sync Configure tab. Click on Allow Sync. The Create, Update and Delete options can be configured for each module. Turn them on to create or update or delete records. Turn off to disable this function for the module. Tap the power button given for modules to stop the module's data sync. Once you configure, click on Update Configuration. Let's test the on save sync by creating an account record in Zogo CRM. Move to the Accounts module of Zogo CRM and create a record. After filling all the essential information, click on Save button. Let's check and confirm if the record is created inside Zero. Login to your Zero account. You can see the account created in the Zogo is created automatically inside Zero. Next, we will try the Sync to Zero Sync. This method is used to sync already existing records in Zogo to Zero. Click on this menu icon and select Product. Here, select any one product and go to the detail view of that product. Click on Sync to Zero option to sync the record to Zero. This record is synced to Zero. We will verify this sync inside Zero. Navigate to the Business section of Zero and select Product and Services. Here you can see the Zogo product is created here. Let's try another method, historical sync. I have disabled the on save sync and update the configuration. Now I am selecting the invoice module. Here I am creating a new invoice by clicking on create an invoice. I have filled in all the required information and clicked on save. The invoice record has been created in the Zogo CRM. Now visit the historical sync page and choose any one module. Here the accounts and products module gets enabled automatically if you enable the invoice module. Choose the from date and to date to sync records created in between the chosen period. Now click on sync. The extension will find and calculate the number of records to prepare sync. Click continue to sync. The sync is completed. Below you can see the process record sync details. Here you can see the invoice record of Zogo are sync to my Zero account. Next we will learn how to sync Zero record to Zogo CRM. Zero bidirectional sync for Zogo CRM gives a cron schedule option to automatically sync the Zero record details to Zogo CRM every 10 minutes. To set up this, move to the settings page 
and visit the zero sync configure tab enable the cron sync option given for modules and click on update configuration If the cron has failed to sync a record three times, you will get a notification. You can see those notifications inside the historical sync tab. You can also manually sync zero records to Zogo using the historical sync method. For that, I will show you an example. On zero account, navigate to the business section and select invoice. I have created an invoice. I have filled in all the required details. In the item section, I have added a new item with a new specification. And save the invoice. Both the new item and the invoice will be synced to the corresponding modules of Zogo CRM. Let's check it down. Move to our extension. Visit the historical sync tab. And toggle the button, switch to perform zero data sync to the left side. It will sync records from zero to zero. Here choose a module. I select invoices so that the accounts and product module will enable automatically. Select the from and to date and click on sync. It displays the number of records to sync. Now click on continue to sync. The records are synced to Zogo CRM. Let us navigate to the product icon by clicking on this menu. Here you can see the new item that was created inside the invoice of Zero account. Now let's select the invoice module from the menu. The invoice that we have created in Zero has been synced to the Zogo invoices. You can also sync Zero accounts to Zogo CRM by this historical manual sync. For that, I have created an account in my Zero. Click on this accounting option and select chart of accounts. Here click on add account. Fill in the necessary details. Now click on save. A new account is created on my zero account. Now let's sync by historical sync method. Navigate to our extension. Toggle the switch to the let's say that is sync from zero to Zogo. Enable the accounts module. Now choose the from and to date and click on sync. It displays the number of records to sync. Click on continue to sync. The sync shows the result that the account from zero have been synced to Zogo CRM. Let's check this by clicking on this menu and selecting zero account. Here the accounts of zero have been synced successfully. Next we move to audit section. Click on the audit section. This audit section shows all the successful and unsuccessful statuses of the sync. From Zogo to zero and zero to Zogo. Directly from here you can resync the failed sync records just by clicking the sync icon showing beside the failed record sync column. You can see a filter option at the top. This is useful to filter the audit history of records sync between a particular period. Click on it. Choose the from and to date and click search. It will show the filtered results between a specific period. Click clear filters to remove filters. At the end of the header, you can find a global search bar where you can search details based on columns.
here in this module I have selected an invoice. And click on search. Now only the sync history of the invoice module will be displayed. And this extension has a multi-language support. So you can use the extension in your native language. To configure this, go to the settings. Click on language. Here choose the preferred language and click update language. The extension can be now used in the chosen language. If you want to configure the extension with another Xero account, we make that easier for you. All you need to do is just resetting the Xero account settings. For that, visit the reset tab and click reset connection. That's all you need to know about the Xero bidirectional integration for Zogo CRM. Hope this video will be helpful. Thanks for watching.